click on the small button that will appear underneath any text that you can, can skip. All right, folks. Yes, please help me out with our choices here. Uh, yeah, the game definitely has an older feel. It's like almost 10 years old, so... We are... Uh, I, it's very different from what I've been used to, so I'm kind of curious about this. So what would uh, Nancy Drew be required to do? Run the place for a while. Pretend I work for a tabloid. Take over for your receptionist. Investigate the bombings. I, I'm thinking this one. But what, is, what does the chat think? One, two, three, or four. Hmm. You think he's a bad business owner? He's a little rough around the edges, maybe. Number four. Eden says number four. Tanya says number four. All right, I think uh, let's do number four. Of course, you want me to investigate the bombings. Shh! Do not use that word. You're here to investigate the construction accidents. Our guests hear construction, they shrug it off. They hear that other word, they get upset. These people are millionaires who come here to get pampered, not upset. The good news is, with that hair of yours, those clothes, that makeup, you'll fit right in. You really think so? Yeah. Everybody's gonna assume you're the new gopher. You know, go for this, go for that. The new general assistant. Oh. No, that's good. That way no one will suspect you're really a detective who's an expert at defusing bombs. Uh, I'm not sure who told you that, but... Of course, that also means you can't go around bothering people. And, if somebody asks you to do something, you're gonna have to do it. No questions asked. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Blesky, but I'm afraid I've got some towels that need folding. Oh, great. Another one. Well, you got here just in time. Would you like me to... <laughs> Fold some towels? Uh, Alright, chat, what do you think? Uh, I, d I don't think it's go home now. Would you like me to go home now? See if any of the movie stars are around? Go there and fold the towels? Or interrogate Mr. Jones? Number three is what Scarlet's shouting out in the chat. Ember saying number four, Firechild number three. Kind of feeling it's number three here. Let's go see. Would you like me to help fold towels? Folding towels is a code. It means someone's found a note saying where a bomb's been hidden and turned it into reception. Shoot, look, I've got to take this call. Go on back out there. Cassidy will explain everything and get you started. Go on. Go. Nick Blesky. See, each bomb has been preceded by a note. The very first note said that it contained the location of the bomb that was about to go off. Unfortunately, the rest of that note, and each of the other notes that followed, was in some kind of totally indecipherable code. However, I'm sure you, detective that you are, will be able to decipher it, determine where the bomb is, and defuse it before it goes off with no problem. Well, I can sure try, but... Fortunately, the bombs aren't lethal. Truly annoying, yes, but truly dangerous, no. Apparently, our mad bomber just wants to torment us. Here's a map so you can find your way around the spa. We have the Redondo map. We've got a jungle room, a guest suite, a salon, a zen zone, and the ivory room. Hedge your bets against stress. Stroll our soothing garden maze. And here's the note. Decipher it, and you'll be on your way. This could be a sticky situation. Oh, we have a mini game. In this mini game, your goal is to move pieces so that they form a complete letters. Move pieces to the correct positions by swapping them. Letters can be swapped this way, or this way, or this way. Yeah, let's do this. 
great! You're getting the hang of this! Yay! Rule number one, you can only swap a letter with an adjacent tile. This S piece can be swapped with the eight highlighted. Okay. Rule number two, swaps need to result in a complete letter being formed. Now, keeping those rules in mind, click on this S. Got it. I think we're good. I don't think we need this much tutorial. Alright, folks. Let the games begin. We have to build S, E, N, I, and a V. Oh, I guess that doesn't go there. It's kind of like match three, but not. It's interesting. You'll notice that whenever you form a complete letter, the gauge goes up. I love that poppy sound. Hmm. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, let's try that. Very cool sound. Uh, no, I don't need the hint button. Relax, game. Relax. Should we be playing this game on a hardcore? Puppy sound is puppy. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so V is done. Ooh, a double whammy there. Triple whammy. Very nice. <laughs> this is so cool, actually. Uh, ooh, that won't go there. I don't need... All I need is I. I hang out in the tropics. Great job. Now unscramble the letters to find out what the, where the next bomb is hidden. Uh, the game is coming along just nicely. Jasmine, you're all about the gym, are you? So I'm thinking... Uh, ooh, it's nice sound effects here. Vines. Thank you, Fire Child. Thank Vines. you. I wonder what that means. Maybe I should look at the resort map. This is the map screen. Your current location is always highlighted blue. Right now, you can see you're at the reception. To progress over the next location, you need to click on the correct area of the map. The bomber's clues mention vines and tropics. Uh, vines and tropics? So, the jungle room, right? Right there. That's Boom. where the next bomb must be. Hey, chapter two done. We're still only on amateur level, though. I hear someone. Who's there? Mr. Mingles, is that you? Speak. Uh, no, I'm Nancy, the new... <laughs> Look at these options. Hi, Nancy. I'm a construction engineer. No. I'm a general assistant. No. I'm the tower old girl. No. I'm a ball maker. Uh, I have not played this game ever before. And uh, so this is my first time playing the Nancy Drew dossiers here. So Fire Child says two. Two. Uh, Jasmine says three. Uh, I am curious about the bomb maker option. I'll be honest. I'll be totally honest with all of you. So I think I'm gonna pick that just to see what happens. Come again. Oh. So we can't pick that option. Let's say construction engineer. Come again. Uh alright. Well, I guess towel girl? I beg your pardon. Or, as Lacey said, number two. I'm the new general assistant, and you are... Just 
call me Mrs. Montague. Now, quickly, scratch the left side of my nose before I go absolutely insane. Hurry. Scratch the left side of her nose? No, I, I quit. I'm done. Um... I need a scratcher. Where can we find a scratcher? It's be like, am I supposed to like pick her nose or what? What's that all about? My nose itches like crazy. Oh, something. oh, I see. I didn't. I forgot. I had the option to scratch. Ah, wonderful. Now get me a cup of lime sherbet. Two scoops with a sprinkling of citron zest and one cinnamon stick. And a spoon, of course. Silver, not plastic. And don't plan on going anywhere for a while. As you can see, you're going to be the one operating the spoon. Actually, I kind of need to do something else right now. Do something else? Really? Like what? Get fired like the last alleged assistant Flesky sicked on me? Keep this up and that can easily be arranged. Lime sherbet, did you say? On second thought... Forget the sherbet. I'm chilled enough as it is. The hot water for this bath doesn't seem to be working. Find out why and fix it before my gloriously flawless skin becomes a hideous landscape of goosebumps. Tip, you can reveal the location of an object you need to use if you click on the item indicator. Yeah, she is quite the prima donna in there. I think I would accidentally not do what she was telling me to do. Uh, sure. I uh, know this is not the new Nancy Drew game. This is old. This is like 2009. Okay, so we have to open up the safe, apparently. This bath has become unacceptably... Okay, so we're going to push it. Must turn up the heat. And then we'll turn it? Ah, the mud is warm again. Much better. Before I got in the tub, I noticed that a plant over there was dying. Please do something about it. The poor thing's struggle to live is draining the energy from this room in a most unpleasant way. <laughs> she is a sassy, bossy, spoiled princess, no doubt. Okay, where would this... So we gotta fill it up with water, but where is this plant that needs it? Um... Does anyone see a plant that is draining the energy out of the room here? Because I am not seeing it. What does this do? Here's a short tour of what each tab in your journal is for. This is where you to go to read Nancy's notes. This is where you should click if you need help figuring out how to play. This will send you to the detective ranking screen. So, journal entries. We have no evidence. So, which plant needs a drink, do you think? Uh, I honestly don't know. Hmm. Oh, wow. Ah, you've revived the plant. I can tell. I can feel the energy returning to the room already. Please, check the latest Tinseltown Tatler and give me the gist of Lydia Lynn's column. That woman is so deliciously catty. So I need to read a newspaper to her now? Uh... There's no way to, like, go back. You're back. Welcome back. How was your dinner? So I think I gotta pull that. There we go. Hmm. Lydia's column suggests that Jasmine Ivy came to the Redondo for a little plastic surgery. I suspected as much myself. Not that there's anything wrong with a judicious touch-up now and then. Brew me a cup of my special anti-aging tea, and brew it correctly, or you'll soon find yourself filing for unemployment. 
I would ex expect this is very much what it's like to work at a spa. Okay, so we now have to brew uh -huh. up tea making instructions. Tea strainer. Here are our two or our tea making instructions. There's nothing more relaxing for a guest than imbibbing in a steaming cup of wonderful, aromatic, naturally healthful Redondo tea. Our special blend of dried, hand crumbled leaves can be found in the refrigerator. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we gotta open. Tea. 